so students very good morning and today we will discuss about some optical instruments this is plane mirror and we use it in daily life to see the face one side is painted by silver paint another is reflecting surface the image formed by this mirror is of same size as of the object jo image banti hai wo same size ki hoti hai object second is glass lab in class 11th experiment of spherometer and in another one it is used for the leveling and also it is used to measure the lateral displacement of the light ray this is the prism prism breaks white light into seven colors called this phenomena is called dispersion and it also deviates the optical ray towards the base when enter in the prism this is convex lens also known as convergent lens the light rays which incident on this lens it always converges them at focus point if these line these optical rays are parallel to the principal axis its middle is thick and edges are thin while in concave lens edges are thick and center is thin it diverges or spread the light rays which incident on it parallel to the principal axis these are the pins used to form the image it is our optical bench as you can see it is our optical bench and here are the sign of centimeter and millimeter on it this is the pin holder this is lens holder we can arrange the height of the lens by moving this by this screw we can fix it where we want according to this is the screw used to move left or right to the holder as well as the object or pin as you can see on the board all these are used first is plane mirror this is plane mirror and it forms the image of object this is object and this is image one ray incident per perpendicular to the mirror and bounce back by same path another light ray incident obliquely and reflected by this path both the ray one is this and another is this reflected ray first reflected ray second are diverging so when increases backward they seems to meet at i so it forms the image of object at same distance as object is placed in front of the mirror mirror ke samne jitne distance par object hai utna hi distance par piche image banti hai same size this is our prism oftenly all the sides of a prism are equal abc is a prism and bc is called the base of the prism while angle a is called prism angle and pqrs is the path of light ray pq incident ray qr path of light ray inside the prism and rs is the emergent ray it is emergent ray if we increase the emergent ray backward then it need to incident ray this angle is called angle of deviation and it is denoted by delta this angle is denoted by delta angle of deviation another function of the prism is to disperse or to split white light into seven colors 
it is white light. This phenomena is called dispersion, means prism is split the white light into seven colors. The red color deviate least, while violet color deviate most. Now, it is our glass lab and glass lab is used to measure the lateral shift. This is incident ray as you can see and this point is called incident point, point of incidence. Between them it is angle of incidence. When it enters into glass in a denser medium and air is a rare medium, then it bends towards the normal. When it comes out, it becomes parallel to the incident ray. The perpendicular distance between incident ray and the emergent ray, the ray which comes out from the glass slab is called emergent ray. The perpendicular distance LD is known as lateral shift or lateral displacement. Now, both the lenses, this is our concave lens, the edges are thick, middle is thin and when light ray incident parallel diverge as you can see here, this is called principal axis and it is optical center, point O is the optical center and L is the lens, these are the incident ray. So it diverge, this is the diverging phenomena and it is known also diverging lens, but this is convex lens, optical center, convex lens and it is the focus main focus or principal focus when incident parallel light ray converge at focus so it is known as converging lens or convex lens thank you